protesting the government building a blade. Protests which started on Sunday are escalating in Ukraine's eastern city of Kharkiv. They want to follow Crimea, where people voted to break away from Ukraine. Pro-Russian demonstrators also occupy the government building in Donetsk, where they've declared a People's Republic. They're calling for a referendum by the 11th of May. These new protests sparked a war of words between Kiev and Moscow. There is a scenario written by the Russian Federation with only one purpose, to partition and destroy Ukraine and turn a part of Ukraine into the slavish territory under the dictate of Russia. This will not happen. It is our joint responsibility to preserve the country. Russia's foreign ministry accused Kiev of blaming Moscow for all its troubles and urged them not to use force against pro-Russian protesters. But the U.S. seems to agree with Kiev, saying the event didn't appear to be spontaneous. If Russia moves into eastern Ukraine, either overtly or covertly, this would be a very serious escalation. We call on President Putin and his government to cease all efforts to destabilize Ukraine. And we caution against further military intervention. Russia has repeatedly said it has no intention of invading. But to many Ukrainians, it all appears similar to what happened in Crimea, and tens of thousands of Russian troops remain along its border with Ukraine.